Hello and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. So if you missed it, uh, our last episode was a uh, as quick as I could try to get it a tutorial on how to set up the uh, beginning base. Uh, basically, just by expanding out as quickly as possible. That way you don't have to worry about a food source. Um, by digging down as deep as you can, uh, that way you don't have to worry about carbon dioxide. And those two things will let you keep things simple and kind of uh, get uh, through the early game as quickly as possible. So after that, you can kind of slow things down a little bit and start to di dig through these uh, research uh, tasks and start to try to get an idea of what your base is going to look like. So, I think I said I wanted um, you know what, let's just go f make a beeline for distillation. That way I can get two things out of the way. Uh, oh, you know what I wanted? Airlocks. That's what it was. If I can do start to build airlocks, then I can start to uh, kind of explore a little bit more. Until I have airlocks, any kind of hole that I dig into, into the caustic biome or anything like that, is going to be kind of a, a more permanent problem that I don't want to deal with. So, we'll do it this way. Now a little bit of chlorine, such as what's here, is fine. It's really just going to sink to the bottom anyway, just like the carbon dioxide. And similarly, if you dig out some hydrogen, it's going to float to the top, where you can easily collect it later and either use it or, or move it or neutralize it. All right, uh, I already did ranching, cool. So I can start to get that going. Uh, hmm, there's a lot of carbon dioxide here, so... Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. But I am thinking a ranch right here would probably be nice. Probably not the best location, because my rancher is going to have to go in and out of here. But I'm going to have so many of them, eh, it's going to be a big task anyway, big job. But let's, let's make this as big as I can. Uh, I think it's a 96 tiles. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Nah, it's got to be bigger than that. It must be 30 tiles then. Let's take a look. A stable. Yeah, 96 tiles. Okay. So 96, that's... Uh... Oh, okay. 96 would be uh, 24. That's why. Okay. So that's... 4... 6... 8... 10... 12... 14, 16, 24 is there. Should be if I did it, if I counted right. New printables, okay. I haven't actually planted any Jumpin' Joyas. So I'm not sure if they have any benefits. Uh, looking at these stats, I, I don't like these boring plus one to everything unless I don't have another choice. 
Looking at this guide, plus three science, plus three excavation, both are really useful. He can't build, that's not a problem. Decreased calories, he eats a lot. You know what? I need to look into what happens when they're overjoyed. Uh, m must be like a, I think it's probably a morale thing. I'm going to look into that. Because that uh, super productive one looks really handy. If I could just uh, make sure that he stays overjoyed all the time, that would be pretty helpful. Okay, well the base is starting to look pretty good. Uh, I'm basically waiting, just waiting on research tasks to be done. Speaking of research, it's already finished. I thought I... Oh, it's this stupid mouse. Oh no, it finished both. Okay, cool. So let's go back to distillation. I'm not used to playing on uh, triple speed. Mealwood is ready. Uh, food. Turn that off. I need a cooking station, don't I? Electric grill. Where's everybody going to eat? I'll put the grill right here. That needs power, doesn't it? Now, something to remember is that these jumbo batteries uh, give off a lot of heat. Well, any battery really gives off a lot of heat. So, uh, as soon as you can, you want to kind of get rid of the, the ones that you really needed for your early game. So don't forget to do that when you get to a, a kind of a mid-game point uh, and heat starts to become a problem. Uh, get rid of your batteries, at least the ones that you can afford to get rid of. Uh, you want to focus more on having a stable power grid than having a lot of battery storage. Uh, or at least I did. Oh, we got a hatchling egg already. That's cool. That means I should probably get my stable set up. Now I've forgotten to look up what hatches, uh, what it's best to feed them, uh, but in my last map I was just feeding them, uh, I think, igneous rock and sandstone, uh, which seemed fine. Um, basically, what you feed them, from my understanding, what you feed them determines uh, what eggs they lay, I think. Ooh, did I build five high? That's a problem. One, two, three. Yeah, I did. Oh no. That's gonna affect the level of every floor above it. Uh, and every floor below it. Don't miscount. Like I did. It was a terrible thing. Well, luckily there's water here, so I can kind of narrow it down, but uh, what a disaster. I'm just going to have to make one of these floors like a big floor. This floor is going to be the super tall floor for super tall freaky people. 
Uh, if I end up printing a dupe that is that tall, I will... I don't know what I would do. I definitely post it on like Reddit or something. Get that sweet, sweet karma. Okay, well, I'm super curious to explore upward. There is a path this way, but eh. It's too much of a thing. All right, well, pickled meal. I don't know, there's not that much water here, but I don't really care about water so much. I ended up with so much of it. As long as there's a, oh yeah, see, cool steam vent. As long as there's one of these, you're never really gonna run out of water. So yeah, I'll make the uh, microbe musher. Now my whole series, what I was doing was I was, uh, or not a series, the whole playthrough, I was taking the, the uh, lice meal from my meal lice plants and I was just cooking it into pickled mush or pickled meat but if you look at the quality of it it's grizzly that's as bad as food can get but if you look at the quality of say um, meal loaf then it's a zero and I think the fried loaf is a plus one, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at it. But I'm definitely gonna... Because the thing is, it does consume water, whereas frying it does not. But people don't like to eat it, so... Yeah. And I think the calories are higher when you use the microbe musher. In either case, wh whichever source... Uh, whichever... Um, food you end up letting people eat uh, you want to move away from meal lice um, as soon as you can because it's a low quality source of food and it's going to use up all of your dirt uh, and you'll just run out not that you need dirt for much um, aside from that but why risk it Now I need one slime, one piece of slime, so I can set up my slime properly and forget about it. Also, you know what I'm going to start doing? Uh, I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, but I think rather than trying to get all the polluted water into like one area, which was a disaster, because trying to dig it into one little area was very difficult and usually led to... Um, flooding uh, which I couldn't keep up with the flooding so I ended up with people getting uh, soggy feet uh, all the time and you know soggy feet doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal because it just affects the morale but it really slows them down because as soon as they step in that thing uh, when they step out of that water I mean uh, then they shake off their feet and that and they stop to do that it's a it's a major hassle like, it slows people down, especially if you have emergency construction going on, things like that. Uh, lice loaf. Yeah, so, pickled lice, or pickled meal is 1800. Lice loaf is only 1700, but I think when you cook it, it ends up being a lot better. Let's hit this... Oh, you know what, that's not gonna help because... Oh, I'll do it that way for now. I just want to see what it does. Insufficient materials. Come on, don't give me that mumbo jumbo. Who's going to be our cook? Oh, we don't have a cook yet.
I suppose with the skill scrubber I can make anyone the cook for now. Okay, Digger's making the, the loaf now. Let's speed that up. And let's get one slime. Nope, that's a bad one. Let's get this one. And this one too, why not? Okay, so I got the lice loaf. Uh, or did I? Why can't I fry it? Oh, maybe you can't cook it. Maybe it was the uh, mush bar that I was thinking of. Huh, okay. Whatever. I thought I learned something, but I learned that I did not learn what I thought I learned. Ooh, we got airlocks. That must mean our research is done, yes? No. Alright, so with airlocks... What am I trying to lock out? This carbon dioxide was one thing. What I think I will do is I will build an airlock there and one right here. Eventually, maybe probably uh, automatic or uh, mechanized airlocks. But for now, I'll do one here, one here. And then we'll make this a park and see if I can have it actually survive the, the mid game. I'm gonna have to build a ladder for them, for this. Because this floor is too tall. Okay, it's starting to get to a point where um, all the germs that we're producing from these toilets is becoming a problem. So, I think it's time to finally set up a proper latrine. But where? I think backed up here is fine. What am I losing? Sandstone? Nothing. Okay. So, we'll drop in a door. And a sink. Well, not a sink, because we're not plumbing anything yet. And a couple of outhouses. I should probably make that an airlock, actually. <laughs> okay, well, these I need to deconstruct because... They're blocking airflow. Oh, what if I if I deconstruct this tile, is this egg gonna fall down into the We'll see, won't we? Uh the grooming station. I can't actually set that up for a while. I, I'm gonna have to have someone Do we have anyone husbandry? No, we don't. We don't have a proper rancher yet. You're going to be my cook for now. May's strength is in either science or excavation. Do I have a scientist yet? I thought I had a scientist. 
I mean, I had to have had someone that learned. Yeah, Max. Yeah, so you're not learning science. You're learning hard digging. Uh, although having two scientists would be smart. I should have, uh, I should have set that up. Okay, did I dig out slime yet? No. And I always just try to remember to put it back on construction. That way, uh, it's easier for me to switch, uh, or not, not to have to switch all the time. So this polluted dirt is not really a, a big problem, but there's a few things you can do with it. Um, one is you can uh, put it in a storage container with a deodorizer next to it, and that'll pretty much take care of the polluted oxygen. Um, I can't remember the other ways to handle it. I think um, a compost is probably a good idea. Uh, keep in mind that compost is going to generate heat. And it requires tending, so it's just another task. Uh, one thing that you do want to kind of focus on uh, as early as you can um, is to not have your, your dupes uh, having to do manual labor um, more often than necessary. So early game, it's fine. For example, manually generating power. Uh, manually emptying a, 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 an outhouse, uh, manually watering a farm tile, things like that. It's all extra work that's going to add up. Once you get a, a very um, wide expanded colony, uh, you know, you, you want to start to automate those things um, as much as you can so that you take the manual labor aspect out of it and that gives your peeps uh, more time for tasks that only they can do. Now there's a meal, natural mealwood plant right there. I guess I can go up and around it. I'm going to try to keep it alive for as long as I can, you know? I want as, as many of these plants to survive as possible uh, so that I can have this be a nature reserve. And between temperature and gas pressure and all those different things, it's going to be hard to keep each one uh, surviving, so... Research complete. I must have found some nosh beans somewhere. Because I can make tofu. Uh, berry sludge. With bristleberry. Okay. Now, as far as food goes, one thing that you want to do, rather than build a refrigerator, because a refrigerator uses power, is to go ahead and build your 
um, ration boxes in a sterile environment. Carbon dioxide is sterile, chlorine is sterile, things like that. We're almost done with distillation. I think I will go ahead and set up a compost at, at this point. It's not going to uh, really take up too much time to turn that pile. Well, that's a terrible spot for it, but that's fine. All right, so our carbon dioxide sink is starting to look pretty good, actually. And we're just going to build more floors. Are they letting that, that much carbon dioxide out already? Uh, I wanted to trap as much of it in here as I could. Now later on, this coal that surrounds this area is going to be uh, super valuable. Getting more coal, uh, depending on your power setup, can become a very important part of the process. At least it did for me, but tapping into this is going to be very important. Obviously, we're not anywhere near being ready for that. Okay, good, we got distillation. I think the next logical step is going to be sanitation because then I can um, set up a laboratory and a sink to give my dupes that extra um, morale. I don't know though, fire pole is pretty important. As is, um, the hydrogen generator, uh, not the hydrogen generator, the natural gas generator. Because we have that, um, natural gas geyser. That, that would get us a really big start on power, but we can't really mess around with that until we have advanced power regulation. All of which we need the, well, not necessarily, but it's probably the be better idea to get the, um, uh, uh, carbon skimmers before you start burning a lot of uh, fossil fuels. What am I talking about? We need all the research.
Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it to make lice loaf. Uh, the pickled meal is 1800 calories and it doesn't use water. And the lice loaf, I thought you could cook it, but it's, it's fried mush bars that I was thinking of. It's a hundred fewer calories. Oh wait, what is, what is this? This is 1200 and this is, oh, okay. 1800 comes, becomes 1800. Yeah, th this is actually, uh, increasing the calories, uh, because the electric grill to make pickled meal, uh, requires 1800 calories of meal lice versus the microbe musher making lice loaf requires only 1200. So this is adding 500, whereas this is adding zero. So as long as you have the extra water, which I've got a cool steam vent, uh, I'm good. Uh, then yeah, use the water get the extra calories. It's a better quality food. It's more calories. It's better overall. Cool. Lots of hydrogen. This cool steam vent looks maybe dormant. Oh no. Research complete. Oh, well we still got the the next one. That's fine. New printable though. And pufflets are cool. They create more slime, which you can turn into algae, which you can turn into oxygen. So if you uh, start ranching those early on, that, that can help. Bristleberry is a great source of food. But right now I'm trying, I'm trying to get more peeps so I can get more stuff. Seven construction. Yeah, he's a slow learner, but um, hey, why not? He's got bad taste. That's a good thing. But I really need someone to be a, a rancher. It doesn't say what their total skill points are. Ah, right here. So Ada is a is currently the only one with enough skill points. She's already learned improved carrying, so I would have to skill scrub her or wait for someone else. Internal combustion. Cool, but I don't have the ability to make coal burners yet. I mean, I, I can burn coal, I just don't have the ability to get rid of the carbon dioxide. Where is that one? It's in um, gases, I think. Carbon skimmer. Yeah, decontamination. I also need agriculture. So I can uh, stop watering tiles manually. Now I want to get some pinch of peppers up, um, but they're a little bit more complicated to farm. You have to heat up an area to 95 degrees.
I realize I should be on Celsius. Um, our entire country should be on Celsius, but it isn't. So uh, I don't have a, a really good frame of reference for, uh, you know, what those temperatures are uh, without like converting it, which I'll be honest, I'm not that good at. I learned the formula, both directions, but I never really used it, so I forgot it. But it, all the online stuff that I read uh, tells the temperature in Celsius, so that's probably a better uh, reasoning for going ahead and, oh, we're, we're tearing through our water. Hmm. Maybe I should slow the roll on the water. Our oxygen is getting thin. I slow down the game a little bit so I can pay closer attention to what's going on. Well, there's some water up here. Yeah, I'll tap into that too. The main reason why I want to tap into this one this early in the game is because is because it's in an inconvenient spot. So trying to get it um, away from here is yeah. It's I don't want this water just kind of hanging out here. I want to get it moved away. I should probably just, I mean, the first priority for this natural gas is going to be to store it. I want it, huge stores of it um, in gas canisters. Or not canisters, uh, what are they called? The, uh, uh, what are they called? I don't remember. It's a uh, gas reservoir. I'll probably have a, a huge area of those just to kind of buffer our power. Uh, you know, when you run out of coal or, or you're low on hydrogen or, um, if you can't get your steam up and running, like I couldn't, I couldn't figure that thing out to save my life. Oh, this will be cool because once I get a park sign going in here, uh, then they'll be going in here to get food and they'll get the morale benefit from, um, from the, uh, the nature reserve. That's probably a good idea, a good reason to go ahead and, uh, research agriculture right away is so that I can put up a park sign because that that morale bonus is uh is really high if you look at it um a park is only plus three but a nature reserve is plus six 
compared to all these other buildings, that's probably the most important uh, morale boost you can give your peeps. And if, if they always go in here to get food, then that'll actually be really helpful. But with that in mind, I got to get these airlocks mechanized as soon as possible. I need another scientist. Okay, Ruby has two skill points. So we're going to make her our rancher for now. Uh, digger. Yeah, that's probably fine. Now, I don't know what cuisine does. Like, does she cook fast? Uh, you know what? I can actually find out. Let's go ahead and discover that together. So, if we go to someone's bio, stay still, dupe. We go to skills and cuisine. Determines how quickly, yeah. Okay. All right, so yeah, maybe she can learn grilling too. What else are her skills? She's good at, oh, she's a supplier for sure. I think she also has, yeah, so we're going to give her carrying. That's way more helpful. Until later, until we have a much larger colony, she's not going to be uh, cooking that often. Who else? Ada? What are you good at? Strength of 12. Yeah, you're gonna carry more too. Max research. Well, um, yeah. Turner, what are you good at? Construction. Well, you're going to learn something new today, buddy, because I need another scientist. I feel like there's going to be some a liberal use of uh, skill scrubbing pretty soon. Oh, right. This thing needs light. I forgot about that. And I don't have... The ability to create light yet. Okay, we got heavy wire. That's important. But, what's it made out of? Oh yeah, okay, that's not made out of refined materials yet. Plumbing. Ventilation. Yeah, so this water sieve we need soon. Sieve, sieve, what do you call it? All right. Ooh, there's all kinds of germs. That's not what I wanted at all. Did I? Uh, I dug out that slime. 
Didn't I? And I never... Yeah, there's slime just sitting there. I never set this up. This needs to accept slime at a high priority. Like an eight. It's fine. See, there's slime lung germs everywhere in here. But they will get killed off uh, in a pretty quick fashion. Agriculture, excellent. All right, so on top of agriculture, we also need Well, smart batteries are important. Oh, we wanted the fire pole. And I have a rancher now, don't I? Yes, I do. Let's just make this an airlock. Be done with it. I'll leave it open, but... Luckily, gases don't push through tiles as far as I know. New printables. Farmer. Welcome, Lyra number two. Oh, the rock crusher. Probably never too early to start making copper. That thing takes almost a ton of copper. here and here Okay, what do I feed the hatches? Sandstone. Uh, 
I mean, I guess. Hatch, hatchlings, that's fine. Now we can wrangle some hatches. That's odd. They're, I thought they were nocturnal. There's a hatch out in the middle of the day. There's a bunch of them, actually. Okay, well, I need light to grow uh, bristle berries. What other art stuff do I need? Do I have enough beds? Not even close. What was I thinking? Oh, I got the park sign. Excellent. Now, I am going to generate oxygen in this area, but I figure all this polluted oxygen and slime lung germs can stay in here. That's why I'm building this airlock. I really don't want to give them an excuse to pollute my whole base. But... Who's suffocating? Well, get the hell out of there. Oh, okay, I see. Get out, Digger. There you go. Ooh, that was close. He, uh, managed to get behind that tile. I'm not even sure how. 